<laughs> good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Lisa Half the Hippie Chick with the Psychedelic Food, Dan Henning. I wasn't doing anything. He was picking dog hair off his shirt. <laughs> My golden <laughs> okay. retriever is shaggy. I can't. You wore a dark shirt and you can see every little yes. yellow hair. Yeah. It's going to kill him. You're hairy. Yeah. It's going to kill him. <laughs> How are you today, Dane? I'm good. I'm glad I got coffee. Oh, we're to gonna talk about coffee today. That's perfect. I know you. I knew you would love this That's topic. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the five benefits of coffee for older adults. What are you trying to say? Well, you did just turn thirty. I did. I did. Yeah. Huh. I got this information from the Home Care Assistance of Vancouver site. Okay. Which I I went and looked, read some of their stories. They were very interesting. So I wonder how their coffee is in Canada, but it's good. It may be different. Have you ever had the coffee in Santa Fe, the Pinon coffee? No. Oh my gosh, no, you would no, no, no. love it. It is so good. It's stronger. I, which, and you yeah, like strong. I like strong coffee. Yeah. So, yeah. so you would love yeah. it. It's really good. Okay. We'll find you some and Please. let you try it. Yeah. I'm down. Okay, so let's talk about these five benefits of coffee since you love it so much. Okay. Now, Gary did have one drawback before the show that he mentioned. Did you want to share that with yeah. the audience? <laughs> Yeah, we almost done. <laughs> Gary drink coffee. He got a pee pee all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all do though. I mean, go on. Yeah. But, mm. Gary's blushing. He's mad yeah, at me Gary's now. Gary's blushing. Yep. So moderation is the key. Let me say that. <laughs> yes, it is. Because too much caffeine can be a bad thing. Make you pee pee all the time. Make you pee pee a lot. Yeah. So moderation is the key. So number one benefit is neurological function. Caffeine enters your bloodstream and travels to your brain. When it gets there, it can actually block inhibitory neurotransmitters. So these, these are the things that block the good feelings in your brain. Oh. And you don't want I mean, you, you don't want those things. So it blocks those. It blocks the bad. It blocks the bad. The but it also increases the good, the good ones. Oh. Like dopamine, dopamine. It makes you feel really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So it can result in a noticeable boost in cognitive function mood memory energy and retention so all good stuff uh, yeah, yeah that's all and good it stuff. can increase reaction times which is important too yeah mm -hmm. so number two drink to that mm -hmm. it can lower your risk of type 2 diabetes diabetes isn't that amazing yeah it, it, do you think i say it wrong is that what you're no saying? i <laughs> every time i hear diabetes i have to say it like the guy on the commercial diabetes i have to say it that way okay all right if i don't say it that way then it's <laughs> that I missed an opportunity to say diabetes, and I love saying diabetes. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> As you were. So according to a recent Canadian study, um, one to two cups of coffee a day... Keeps diabetes away. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to rhyme, don't I you? Do. You have to I say do. it. Um, yeah. So it may decrease... Okay, I, I'm reading this wrong. One study suggests regular coffee drinkers may be 23 to 50 percent less likely to develop di type two diabetes. That's amazing. As now, the caveat here is it's black coffee. That means no sugar, no creamer, no artificial sweetener. Exactly black how coffee. I like it. Yeah. Okay, and that's a big deal. There's yeah. a, a lot of people in our country that are developing diabetes far quicker than they should, and mm -hmm. and far younger than they should. And black coffee is yeah. I like my coffee black and the tea in the harbor. That's how I like it. The tea what? Tea in the harbor. The tea in the harbor. <laughs> <Sorry>. Number three, <laughs> reduce your risk of digestive diseases. Digestive digestive disease. I can't even say that. Okay, so believe it or not. Parkinson's and Alzheimer's are considered digestive diseases. Really? It's amazing. It is. It's amazing what your intestinal tract can do and a healthy intestinal tract. Stupid so, intestinal tract. Yeah. <laughs> so it may offer protection from Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Wow. Another recent study said seniors who drank up to two cups a day mm -hmm. cut their risk of developing Parkinson's by as much as 60%. That's a huge number. And Alzheimer's was 65%. Wow. Those are huge numbers. Now, that is one Canadian study, but Coffee I would surely, surely like to hear more studies Save. about that. I'll drink that too. Okay. Number four, it protects your liver. Now, again, we have the caveat here. That must be black coffee. It cannot be Irish coffee. Right. Yeah, it cannot <laughs> it be cannot Irish coffee. It cannot have cream. It cannot no. have sugar. It cannot have alcohol in it. It is black coffee. Black coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. If The sugar and the cream are not good for your liver, but 
black coffee shows some protection mm -hmm. for the liver. Mm -hmm. And number five is it can boost your energy, which I don't think you need any more of today. <laughs> it is a stimulant. And so when you have too much, you can get overcharged. That's a true story. And you yeah. can get restless and it can disrupt your sleep patterns, as mm -hmm. some of us know. So typically it is best served in the morning. And personally, my favorite part about coffee, and you may think this is silly, is the way it smells. Oh, that's not silly at all. Mm -hmm. Especially that's when I first take the can out in the morning before I even put it in the coffee maker. I just want to smell, smell the it. coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they have found that it has aromatic properties that they believe are therapeutic on its wow. own. The smell. Just the smell. I believe it. It's magical. <laughs> you know, and for the longest time, I didn't drink coffee. I didn't even like the taste of coffee. Mm -hmm. I didn't. And I, I don't know, maybe four years ago, I started drinking it. And now I can't go. But it does have some addictive stuff to it because well, caffeine, caffeine is caffeine addictive, is addictive yes. so that that is true. But no, I now I drink it every morning. I, I can't. But I think when you think about the aromatic properties, that mm -hmm. could be another thing that you could be addicted to, mm -hmm. or really. So my dad, my my dad drinks uh, his coffee black, and my dad can drink coffee at all times of the day and night. All hours of the day. I, I don't that, understand people. That yeah, do that. he can drink it yeah. at all the hours of the day <laughs> without any problem. If it's really cold outside, I might. Yeah. Have one in the afternoon. Yep. He, and he doesn't do decaf. He doesn't do any of that. He mm -hmm. does regular, mm -hmm. strong, black, cheap, cheap, dark coffee mm -hmm. is, what he, is what he drinks. So, yeah. Okay. I'll drink so, that too. So, something to look forward to in your, your progressive My age. elder years. Yeah. My elder years. Mm -hmm. so, we'd love to hear approaching. your feedback about that. How do you guys feel about coffee? Show us your coffee mug. Show yeah. us what you're drinking and yeah. tell us what your residents think about it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Until next week. Peace out.